So you will notice looking at the textbooks that their, the double page spreads are quite clear and uncluttered. We decided not to have it full of activities and different bits of historical evidence so that it's nice and calming for the pupils to look at. And that means that there is a teacher guide which has all of that information that a teacher needs to have to be able to teach from these things. So this tells you what to teach, but it's the teacher guide that will really help a teacher know how to teach it. And this teacher guide is available for free online on the Collins website, regardless of whether you have bought the textbooks or not. And each double page spread on the teacher guide will give you, firstly, information to recap. So for example, if you're teaching the Peasants' Revolt, it will remind you to recap the Black Death, which had happened 30 years previously, and the feudal system more generally, and the structure of society. It would then give you key vocabulary. So for the Peasants' Revolt, things like the statues of labourers, or sumptuary laws, things like that that you may need to explicitly teach the pupils before they do the reading will be outlined in there. There would then be five check your understanding questions with the answers included in the teacher guide that could be used as a comprehension activity in class. And then, for once you've learnt the content, some suggested activities or sources that you may want to bring in perhaps in the following lesson. So, for example, a storyboard explaining the story of the Peasants' Revolt or sources, um, contemporary medieval chronicles that write about the event. And then lastly, there are thinking deeper questions, which will uh, help pupils to think a bit more about the content that they've studied and situate it in the context of the whole unit of work on the later medieval ages. And then lastly, there's also in the back of the teacher guide for every unit, 10 quizzing questions, which you can use um, either to recap once you've studied the material, to set as a homework for pupils to revise, or to revise at the end of a term once you're revisiting all of the material. So the content is all stored in here, but everything that you would want to do with it and use in the classroom is available in this free teacher guide.